There's a new Black Panther with a new look in Marvel Studios' Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. So to get the scoop on the suit, I'm talking with Marvel Studios' head of visual development, Ryan Minerding. Hi, Ryan. Hello. Well, let's jump in. Shuri's new Black Panther suit is an incredible take on an already iconic suit. So as you started work on this film, how did you approach this new design? One of the great things about Shuri in the first Black Panther movie was that she had like pretty amazing, iconic looks across the board. Some that Ruth Carter designed, some that the visual development team designed. We were trying to look at pretty early on with how to translate some of those things into the Black Panther suit. And I think with, with Shuri, we were trying to find almost a slightly more fierce look I think we were, we were trying to evolve her into a character where she was stepping into the mantle in a way that was tremendously her own, and, and that involved becoming a sort of more fierce version of Black Panther. Well, it's such an awesome design. What were some of the key visual elements you and the team were looking to incorporate? In terms of the overall aesthetic of the suit, it's, it's kind of the same as the other Panther suits where we're trying to make it as skin tight to her body as possible so it feels flexible, it feels like she can be acrobatic, she can be strong and powerful and doesn't have to have any sort of restrictions on her at all. You know, one of the things that Ryan Coogler asked for is sort of maybe even weaponry or, you know, starting with her Panther gauntlets becoming even larger or because she is, a, you know, obviously a, a technology expert that the tech became added on and, and those things got bulkier and, and almost made the suit look more powerful through having technology as part of a visual language. But as we got into it, we did realize we had so many amazing visual reference points from Shuri in the previous movie that we were kind of hearkening back to those a lot. I think the biggest sort of change in the suit in the previous designs is fundamentally sort of the boldness of the design language as well as the panther gauntlets and a few pieces of gold around her shoulders that are a little bit stronger and meant to give her a little bit more of a shoulder silhouette than she would have had without them. Well, you packed so many amazing details into this suit. How many iterations of Shuri's suit did the team create before settling on the final design? We probably had 50 or 60 different designs. I think there was a lot of really amazing things to play with. And having the, the comics as a base, but also having those amazing appearances in the first movie as a place to start was basically where we began. I think we ended up landing on one that had that sort of fierce look with things that represented panther teeth, both on the top and bottom of her jaw, and specifically pulling from her Warrior Falls look, where she had a, a number of white dots uh, painted on her, on her face. We were trying to turn those into sort of graphic elements that, that are done in silver. And then finding all those things integrated into one cohesive look was one of the more fun parts of the process. And again, bringing that, that gold and silver in to sort of say that she's now at a place where she's stepping into the mantle, taking on all of the burden of, of where her country is at and, and trying to save the day. Now, of course, Shuri isn't the first person we've seen take on the mantle of the Black Panther. Are there any parts of this design that reference previous Black Panther suits? One of the fun things about Marvel Studios and Marvel Comics is that there are characters that have these sort of mantles that can get passed from one character to another. That symbol of that mantle becomes different and, and changed in some way when the new character takes it over. The suits that we start with end up meeting something and then how they translate into the next film and the next film all seem to like become useful in the storytelling going forward. And when we were working on the Black Panther suit for Civil War, that ended up being sort of termed sort of T'Challa's suit. I think in the Black Panther movie where T'Challa explains to Shuri that was what he had developed and Shuri creates that suit in Black Panther, right? And Killmonger ends up taking that gold suit and sort of making it his own at the end of that film. Essentially, the suit that Shuri ends up with is kind of a combination between T'Challa's suit and Killmonger's suit, a mix of the silver and the gold. That's the panther she needed to become in order to be able to fight Neymar at the end. There are some subtle nods to each one of those suits in the final design, but it really is as simple as the color schemes being the silver and the gold being the, the two things. There is a bit of through line for it, her representing her fallen brother as well as probably begrudgingly representing things she needed to learn from Killmonger. So Ryan, what did it mean to you to be able to continue the legacy of the Black Panther in the MCU through a new character and this new design? The fact that we were able to, to work on Shuri in Black Panther and to see her sort of transition into a full-on Black Panther of her own in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, it was an amazing experience. Like the, the idea of watching that character take on a mantle, do things that she didn't think she could do, try to live up to her brother's memory. For me, it's to have been part of this journey of watching this character become beloved by the audience and the fans and trying to figure out how Shuri can feel like she's She's taking that mantle and, and carrying it forward. It was an incredible experience. 
I am the Black Panther, and I'm here for retribution. Well, you and the whole team really did an amazing job, Ryan. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you so much. And of course, everyone, go experience Marvel Studios' Black Panther Wakanda Forever in theaters now.